front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time. And nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Sage Streaming Blood Bowl 2. We've got a new season of the Orca Cola Championship for you guys. Yes. <clears throat> and I'm bringing my morning wood. I've bought a new tree and not a second dancer. I, I'm not 100% sold on this decision, but since I'm already 12 minutes late, uh, this is what we have. We have a movement and tackle dancer. We have Eki, basically the team. We have some bloaties here with a Jillian Dodge. We have Dodge Sure Hands. We have Blodge uh, Kick and Double Minus Movement. This is basically a line orc. <clears throat> uh, we have a guard. Uh, we have a rookie catcher. And only a single journeyman. Yep. The team we're facing is this one. It's got guard, 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 mighty blow tackle, mighty blow tackle, guard. Uh, it's got a movement strength uh, skink. We don't have strip ball. That kind of sucks. Uh, they're way better than I am. They've also got a lot of diving tackle and a lot of team value on me. Let's go. <clears throat> yes, the frenzy dancer died. It was sad. Also means I get to pick strip ball a bit more quickly, I guess. So he gets absolutely zero inducements because he is the higher TV team. I get 300k. Could have actually gotten a Merc tree, I guess. Wizard, yes. Yeah, yeah, stars are a bit on the pricey side. I mean, we could get dual far. Let's see, got again, kick, I already have it. Pass block, I don't want it. Kick off return, bullshit. Uh, diving, yeah, no. All right, um, Willow, yeah, not really. I mean, it helps against attrition, I guess. It's a 12th player. Might not even be the worst, just stick her on the line next to the tree. The star dancer, you mean Jordel? He's 260, so no. No. Yeah, whatever. I'll get Willow. It's a pretty shitty star, but 150k is, uh, is not that great. I did not have a second dancer. I could have gotten a Merc dancer, I guess. Maybe that would have been better. <laughs> Strip ball and a Merc. Yeah, that's a lot of... Uh... That's a lot of team value, though. That's 120 for the Dancer, plus 30 for the Merc, plus 50 for the Strip Bowl. Journeyman linemen are 70k, yes. Mercenary linemen are 100k. We kick first. Willow looks like a war dancer? What the hell? That's, that's gonna trip me up at some point. Is there anyone we want on the bench? I mean, obviously not this guy. Do we want the thrower on the bench? Yeah, maybe. So then we'd have the tree, we'd have Willow. We'd have those, he's got plenty. Yeah, no, we've got we've got ten players and nine of them are healthy. <clears throat> so it's not it's not as bad as it seems. We'll see. Holes, wow, thirty months already. Thank you. Ah, 
Nice skink, though. Definitely worth lightning bolting. Does he also have a niggle or just minus armor? Just minus armor for now. Third one, bolt the skink. Well, I just bite if it picks up the ball. Mighty blow tackle coming for my kicker. That makes sense. Good thing I kick first. That's when he's already done his job. I mean, <clears throat> if the guy I'm getting, if the three guys that get blocked are the loners and the guy that gets blitzed is the movement five wood elf, then things could be worse, right? So he's got two, br three break tackles, two mighty blow tackle. This guy, this guy is worth killing. He's also got 13 players, which is a lot for lizards, in my opinion. Oh, he's switching sides, it seems. Absolutely, absolutely holes. <clears throat> Damn those spikes on the ball, am I right? Yeah. So, deep, I say. There. No weather because... Ooh, that's a good kick. That's a very good kick. <clears throat> 11 or 12 for me, uh, Burner. I usually wind up with 11. I don't mind going to 12. I could see 13 if you have a dirty player. Well, at least I've managed to shift his attention away. Uh, yeah. Here will do, I suppose. That's not good enough, but at least this one doesn't have the mighty blow. So the loader is fine. And now he'll actually have to bring in an assist to take down the tree. I consider leaving the tree off the line to keep it upright for this turn, but... Yeah. Oh, and the lane is gone! One of my few healthy players, well, one of my ten healthy players, not that bad. No, nine. Nine healthy players. In comes the assist. Is he going to block with the block? Because then on a push I can prevent the next block. That's not the block, <clears throat> but it means I don't go down. Uh, if I don't stand firm, then he can't actually get another two die. That's kind of nice. And it means I get to punch this guy for free. Nice. Uh, I, I just called it Eki and the Wizard, actually. Uh, now the pickup fail. Oh, no, no pickup fail. So. All the lizards are here, or all the saurus are here, I should say. Mm. No frenzy. This is the guy we're okay with getting blitzed. It's not the guy we want on the flank, though.
Let's punch here then. Good. Stay on us, please. Thank you. And here we'll do just fine. Right now, this is pretty secure. Um, this is okay-ish, I guess. Good. If I follow this, I open up a gap there. That's kind of scary. I'm actually quite okay with not following that. Because now this is not a gap, which means we can send him here. Yes, which protects this a little bit. Mm -hmm. Something like that then. Come, bring the ball to me. He fears the guard, fair enough. <clears throat> I did kind of leave him out to dry just a little bit. And a both down is good enough to take him. But he's okay. That's pretty sweet. Could even blitz this with the tree. <clears throat> well, avoiding spoilers can only last so long, uh, Kumo. Niggled guard? Oh, he is! Huh. I guess I forgot to fire him. Hmm, bad me. Well, that uh, explains why he targeted him, I guess. So yeah, this guy in back makes it a bit less tempting to go full head-on into here. Four. Interesting. Right. <clears throat> Plan. I'll do for now. Get the guard out of my way. No need to follow that, really. Strength four, huh? That's helpful. Sadly, I don't have a guard right now. So, I suppose that Corvain will have to do this by himself. Which he can. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Wow. Apples it, he's fine. 
But that's that's a pretty pretty significant hit there. So we can get him to relative safety. The tail there is a the big problem, really. This would be a two normally, uh, a three with a tail, a five with it. Oh no, there is no tail. There is no tail. That means we dodge here, here, leap out there. Yeah, plan. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got sure feet, right? Yeah. 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> no reroll, used just the catch one. <clears throat> All right, that helps. This guy can reach there, that's a problem. This guy can reach there, that's a problem. This guy can reach anywhere, so we're not stopping that, really. Oh, this certainly spices things up a little bit. Let's start with that one. Nope, no wizard. No wizard. And I got a Kaz on maybe the most important one. Do I really want to prevent him from using tackle? Yeah, sure. Nice. Well, that basically leaves this guy <laughs> by his lonesome. All right, all right. A lot happened here. Oh, that's cute, calf. The nice thing is, too, that because of that pass, um, the blitz target, the most likely blitz target, I should say, is not Eki, which is, you know, pretty instrumental in my game plan. Not having Eki murdered. Yeah, so Diving Tackle is on the ball. He's got a three die, but he's blitzing without Mighty Blow, and he's only got one skink left to retrieve with. Now, the bad thing is my tackle is very much on the wrong side of the pitch here. If I planned this out a little bit better, I could have had to, I held him like there. Three die. Gets the pal. Well, fair enough. Stygian going down. But he is okay. This is at the border of my reach. With the dancer, that is. Oh, sorry, I thought you were saying it to someone else. Okay, fail the GFI now, please. Nope, fail the pickup then. <clears throat> At least the game is moving in the right direction, and 1-1 in Kaz isn't bad. 
I even had bench because of Willow. And the pickup is bad. Yes, 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 yes. Is it bad again? Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's promising. Well, technically, playoffs are postseason, so I guess that that's not entirely wrong. So there's diving tackle pretty much everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's two plus two plus, but against tackle. Can we do better? I can just make it a 2 plus leap, but then the dodge would be a 3. Okay, that sucks. No, oh, well, <clears throat> that didn't work. Guess I should have gone with the leap option. Oh, and he's stunned. All right, that that kind of sucks. And not having Eki <coughs> next turn. Uh, will be an issue. Also, I'm giving up some blocks here now because I didn't want to risk using up the reroll, which I wound up doing anyway. That was the guard, wasn't it? Yeah. That's the niggled guy gone. So we've now lost two players, but not having Eki this turn means that the wizard gets less sexy. Although we do still have this agility five and that agility five. <laughs> hey there, Wonder Boy. That's me uh, smoking uh, slightly off cam. Yep. It's a uh, Nico at a Midas Arbor. Mm. 
no confirmations. Nope. Gets the ball this time, fair enough, I guess. So his super skink has a movement as well as sprint sure feet. So <clears throat> how tempting is this fireball? How much can I get in his way? Uh, if I if Eki wakes up next turn, then he's going to be at the midfield on my turn 5. He might be relevant by turn 6, I guess. Can we stop him advancing down this side entirely? I suppose that's kind of possible. Yeah, recovery does not look great, no. If we blitz that guy... Can't quite reach this, that kind of sucks. And roots good at least? Yes, that is what we like to see. Here we'll do for now. Yes! Helpful. Wanna come th through the tree? Come through the tree. Nah, I guess they can come through anywhere, really. But, okay. I suppose this flank looks pretty appealing to him now. Okay, getting stuck on the dancer and the agility. Ah, oh, fair enough. I can see that. Yeah, that'll do for poor little Stygian. Strength 5, block mighty blow tackle against a catcher. That's about as effective as it gets. But just a KO. What's Eki's reach this turn? Yeah, just not enough really, is it? Just not enough. And all of that diving tackle makes a retrieval without leap very, very tricky. And I left him enough room. Huh. 
don't really have anyone to receive if we do funky stuff. <clears throat> so, we could fireball these four. Dancer can reach this. That helps. Eki can get into a catching position. You know what? Let's live a little. Well, it could be worse, I suppose. Um, so, in order for the dancer to do that, we'd have to get on this guy, which we don't really have anyone for, do we? Because this guy's slow. This guy's slow. We're not 3 plus dodging Willow out, that's for sure. Yeah, if this guy had movement 7, he'd be in here. I kind of really want Goat for the retrieval, though. That's the problem. Yeah, none of them are making that. <clears> hmm. <sighs> yeah, any two of them would have done it. So, a one die? Or we send in the agility and then we don't have retrieval options. So, I think a one die it is. You need to be relevant no matter what. And I think here does that pretty well. Which means we're going to make this block first, which is iffy, but at least it's two dice, right? Is that worth it? No, it's really not. Oh, 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 oh. Oh well. So, uh, hope we get a chance to one turn is basically the gist of it now. No grab. We do have Eki. Yeah, that was a costly wizard. Everything was just a little bit far away. <clears throat> um, that it was two dice, mostly. Um, I wanted to move him first. I wanted to have the ability to move players around that, uh, get him into a position where he still mattered, which now he does not. Yeah, that was painful. So, we're down two or three. He's still got everything. 
And we're basically playing for survival now. I mean, if I can persuade him to make two turns. Oh, and there's the POW. No, 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 no. Just a stun. Okay, good. That's something then. The ogre helping me a little. Oh, sorry, the, the Croxigor helping me a little there. Also cute. A fairly useless stun. <clears throat> so options are Blitz the Skink with the Dancer. Not actually all that bad, really. Two GFIs, though. Or Blitz. The, the shitty thing about Blitzing a Skink is, even on a removal, it doesn't really do much for me. Balls of steel. Argotha, thank you for the resub. Six months already. Nice. I kind of really want this guy out of there, though, even though it's from Tackle. Okay, good, good, good. I like that. I think that's a square I need to go through to blitz this diagonal, so let's be here, then. Come on, Corvain. Don't let me down, bro. Don't let me down. No, he's not letting me down at all. Not in the least. Okay. And then we send you here. And Horde Master, the new tree. Does splendidly, keeping the strength five Megalo tackle a little bit busy. Right, will he give me two turns now? I could, I could see that happen. I could see him give me two turns. Do I have a scoring threat? I don't need a scoring threat yet because I've got time. Okay, free punch on the tree, fair enough. Diving tackle on the dancer, just in case. I think he's scoring, unless he blitzes and cases now, or, or stuns, anyway. I don't think even the free block on the tree is happening, I think he's just running it in right now. Yep. <clears throat> so, that means we have two turns, not one. In principle, that should make my life easier. I do not have sidestep on Eki. That makes it a little bit trickier.
No sideline cages for me. Yeah, it's a damn shame that skink uh, got apo though. Let's see, this one has break tackle, that one does not. So this is the obvious side to be on. If we get pushed one square back, then we already have a problem. <clears throat> well, Squiggy, look at the skink. Okay, look at the skink. It was a good call. So, uh, Thrower McThrowface, where are you? You are here. Can we get a punch on that? Not easily. So we're punching that. Alright. Suppose there's a riot, then I'd have to suddenly one turn. I'd like to be able to make that happen, actually. Then again, a riot's less likely than a blitz. Mm, okay. So, uh, it's 50% chance of losing a turn and 50% chance of gaining a turn, except on turn 8 where it's always gain, uh, or always lose, or turn 1 where it's always gain. So suppose that this is indeed what we blitz, being here might just not be enough. But we can also send our catcher into the show range afterwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he should really be further than here. Which means we get something a bit more like this. Actually, he's fine over here, so you can chill out there whenever. Reroll for the bad guys, we don't mind that, really. Hmm. Made a bit of an error there, I guess. Because I really don't want to get my only dancer mighty bow tackle blitzed. This was dumb. This was bad.
Mm, I didn't want the break tackle to get to me too easily. Oh, that was the mistake, and wow, that helps. That helps too. <clears throat> what diving tackle side? Yes, there is, but skinks are mobile. They can get almost anywhere. But yes, this is another my, uh, this is another diving tackle. But so is that. Ah, so. Oh, I dodged away from here, of course. That's dumb. Okay. So that makes this a one die as well. Um... He can't reach, he can't reach, he can't reach. So then we have this guy left. If we make that one die, we can make this safer from the mess. We're not rerolling it. Let's see how this does. Yeah, gotta try, right? Nope. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. That's not happening. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so he's in touchdown range. That's something. Yeah, I made a made a mistake because when I dodged this, I had counted on this uh, canceling that assist when I uh, planned on making this two die block here. Hey there, Engel Evelstein. Wow, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Welcome back, dude. This is this is what I was worried about. That's why I wanted an extra guy in there. Because strength five break tackle is good. Yep. Yep. This is also why I was a little bit annoyed at the tree rooting, because he would have been in the way otherwise. Yeah, can't apple that. Send off a no stud. Where does that leave us? 
She's in range. We can get a one die on that pretty easily. Thank you. We could, in principle, hand off here. Which would leave me a pass there. Can this guy hand off? No, he cannot. So this guy has to be the one making the pass. So that's a 3 plus catch. We're not fixing that. Can we get a 2 die here? Not really. So that means... <coughs> 1 die blitz against this kink. This guy dodges into the end zone. We hand off to that guy. And he runs off and passes. Okay. Sounds like a plan, right? Don't think we're going to do anything else, really. Okay, that helps a lot. Could I push this away? Not really. No. Because I'd have to get in there. Yeah, that's not happening. One geophyte there. Three plus catch. I guess the risk of dying here is a bit bigger, so then I might as well do this first. Nope, that's the two. Well, now we still run the risk of dying. Uh, worth doing anything else? No, it really isn't. It's on. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> Thank you to all of my patrons for helping make this channel possible. Would you like players named after you too? Then you can become a patron via the link below. Oh well. Oh well. <sighs> Could we at least get Eki back, please? Nope. Not happening. This could get tough now. This could get pretty tough now. Nine against eleven. Like 300 TV difference. Well, right now it's 500 TV difference. And we're behind. Guard on both sides this time. I don't have guard. Uh, every result in Champions uh, Division is important. It's the first game of the season, but there are no playoffs. So every draw, every win matters. Right, so you're going to go assist over there. We're not blitzing that, that's for sure. 
if we block this and we just stay stuck on there, then we could actually do something a bit more like that. This is going to be a problem. This is most definitely going to be a problem. Yeah, and so there's like a hundred and sixty um, <clears throat> coaches in the league, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, there's only one championship to do. Yeah, let's just keep it on the thrower, actually. Who is currently just out of reach from them. Just out of reach from them, so he's actually already in the right spot. That helps, that lets, lets me feel a little bit safer when doing silly stuff like making my first move be a block from the tree. Well then, thank you, Nilak. That was not great. I needed to get this guard at least one square away so that I could blitz that and form up around here. That didn't happen. So far the tree has been a slight bit of a letdown. Hey there Simon. It, it started off really promising. He gave me a one die blitz on his super skink whom I cast. Then I made a wizard in a slightly less than ideal position. Uh, the results were underwhelming. And, um, and then he four plus dodged to punch Eki out. And I failed the two plus pass when I only needed two plus two plus with reroll to uh, score. And now my dancer is getting mighty blow tackle blitzed but at least he's merely stunned so what looked like a very very promising match is very quickly devolving into a probable loss uh, yeah probable loss seems fair especially with Eki staying out I don't have the tools to deal with this really far enough forward that he can blitz me anywhere on the back line. This block now makes perfect sense. So I think there's a bit of room here.
It does mean some threes, but that's not really something we can do too much about. Alternatively, we'd give it to him. Which would also mean threes and fours. So yeah, no, let's, let's not do that. This guy can blitz there. This guy can reach there. Yeah. Blizzards are bloody fast. It's kind of cheating. And this one cannot reach the side. Right? <clears throat> Good enough for me. Doesn't mean that one's even more stuck now. So we've got that one to contend with. We've actually got this one to contend with as well. This one we don't need to worry about. We're going to go through with threes. And we kind of need to do that before we try anything else, which really does not help. This one might be able to get far, but there's tackle in all the wrong places. So let's start off with this and see how far we get. Yeah, like that. All right. This guy can blitz here, but not there. Okay, so this one's not a problem anymore. This one's not a problem anymore. This one's not a problem anymore. This one is. Let's go there then. Okay, that helps. That one's not blitzing. This one's not blitzing. This one's not blitzing. This one's not blitzing. <coughs> that actually went quite okay, really. All right, all right. Should have sent him there, actually. Thanks, Sneaky Git. Ah, that was not bad. You can still get Dying Tackle on my Casher, though. But considering how dire things were before, I suppose I'll take it. Four rerolls to two, full squad to not quite. If the KOs are kind, we might stand a chance. Okay, well, fair enough. I did kind of sacrifice Elon there. Huh, I think I had two Elons. I bet they're both ex-journeymen. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Yeah, that gets him the two die. But, GFIs? No, GFIs are good. Fail the GFI, fail the blitz. Fail the GFI, fail the blitz, fail the GFI. You fucker.
Mm, the Crocs is very nice. Oh, and the bounce. Look, look at that. That's disgusting. <clears throat> the Crocs on Lizards is really nice. Uh, Beast of Nurgle is not half bad either. I do think it's funny that Willow looks like a war dancer, though. <laughs> that is, uh, that is rich. I guess we lost with that. Could you at least root on your feet? No. He doesn't even have to score now. In principle, he could just consolidate over here. That is pretty shitty. So we could blitz the skink or we could blitz that guy. You'd say that the Beast of Nurgle on a Nurgle team is harder to miss? than the crocs on lizards. I mean, I'd rather play Nurgle without a beast than uh, lizards without the crocs. Mostly because on Nurgle, Rotter is not that bad. On lizards, an extra skink and not a Saurus. I mean, if you could treat the crocs for a, for a Saurus, it wouldn't be a problem, but... All right, so... You... are gonna have to try and become relevant here after... Screening. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. Well, it depends on ladder versus, uh... <clears throat> In ladder, playing Norse with a Yeti is actually quite okay. Yeah, that guy's not moving. I think you can play lizards in a bunch of interesting ways. No oh well. Let's at least see if we can not get relegated this season, shall we? Three die with block might blow tackle. Not that he needs it. But mighty blow does not do the trick. He does have both tackle and diving tackle and a <clears throat> lockdown here. Ah, same difference. We're down to one reroll. Hmm. 
guards on opposite corners, of course, making sure I don't get better than a one die if the dancer loops in, which is exactly to be expected. I would be disappointed in him, in him if he chose to do otherwise. Alright, so this turn is the only way to fix this problem. If we don't do it this turn, we are toast. So. Would I be in my own way if I'm here? Make the spot a little bit better, I think. Good. It's also good. Fuck off! Why you no strip ball? So, uh, that leaves this guy. This guy. All right, that one. Duh. Should have done that first. So this one gets out on a three. This one gets out on a four. Or a six. Six works. All right. Well, that was a mess. Oh yeah, Underworld without a troll also kind of sucks. That's very true. And there's the pal. I break armor now and it's game over. Well, I mean, I could dodge him with an agility 5 and pray for a pal. On a one die. If, if he gives me a one die. I don't think he saw that there was a guy there or that he didn't have break tackle. That was interesting. That might help. <laughs> okay, so... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine don't need the loner here. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that helps. That helps. No diving tackle on there. It's only five around to do stuff. Who do we mark? We mark that one, of course. Those two, actually. Who does Willow mark? Those, I suppose. Hmm. 
No more reroll though, so everything. That's four dice on the ball with block and tackle, and no strip ball. Is it okay if I start crying now? They needed a fair bit more than that, but, uh, yeah. Ah! Yeah. To be fair, if he hadn't misclicked, I wouldn't have stood a chance at this anyway. So, I'll take it. But yeah, that's uh, with him having his team in order now, having his uh, rerolls. It might be time to start simply running away. That's in reach, though. Two guards on that side. Oh wait, I'm still getting my Dancer Blitz, aren't I? Yep, <clears throat> there it comes. Corvain going down. Well, at least he's safe. Gave me a nice two die. <laughs> well, that's that could have been worse, I guess, right? And that's in reach. So we chuck the ball somewhere out there and hope for the best. Yeah. <clears throat> huh, this was this was fun. Hey there, Paytonator. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. At least the game is still uh, still giving us moments. That's good. All in all, it's been eventful, shall we say? So no dancer back there. This, uh, despite appearances, this is not a dancer. This is Willow Rosebark. Movement 5, Agility 3, do not a dancer make. Would have been a good time for a bonehead. 
but we've got Gwen Wayne here, and Gwen Wayne is going to score the equalizer. <laughs> right, pick a fail. Nope. Oh, okay. That complicates matters slightly. He's got guard on two out of three corners. Not all of them. No, two out of four corners. Counting is hard. Oh! Boo! That that was kind of disgusting. That was kind of bad. Good call not to follow that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pal. So the options are. That's a bit of a big ask, but it would bring two dice. Hey. Alternative being getting on that guy, which we can do here. I'm going for the one die play. Yeah, that makes more sense to me. I don't think we had snakes yet. That's what I was missing. Mm, I guess I should have sent the loner out first, because then at least I'd have someone. Keeping an elf in touchdown range. Where are those games? Yep, they happen. Yeah, it's all right. So yeah, we've got two players without loner right now. <laughs> Not that loner matters, but yeah, you know, the, the tree is rooted, so he can't do anything. Those two do not benefit from star player points. Uh, in other words, I'd be lucky to get a one die somewhere. Ha ha ha! Yes! Star player points! <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, that strength five Saurus <laughs> is so good. I had one like it, except with no mighty blow and with Lodge and Guard, I think. He was nice too. Willow Rosebark is a, uh, what do you call him, a dryad? Uh, so, yeah, she, uh, she looks like a small treeman, uh, but in the game she doesn't have a skin, so they gave her a war dancer skin. Strength 4, sidestep, thick skull, agility 3, movement 5, armor 8. I think that's about it. 150k makes her fairly affordable. That's about the only good thing. I could say about Willow. Oh, oh, that's mean. That that is that is that is kind of. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this, remember to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my content, then do press the subscribe button and the little bell, and I'll see you around.